hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel and uh yak we will talk about kodak black today yak has been issued an arrest uh, warrant once more why let's jump into the article a florida judge has issued an arrest warrant for rapper kodak black alleged he failed a drug test while on bail for a drug charge court record show the warrant was um, issued thursday after black whose legal name is Bill Capri did not appear for a scheduled drug test in early February and then days later submitted a sample that tested positive for fentanyl according to records what's wrong with the fentanyl guys? Broward County Judge Barbara Duffy issued the warrant and wrote that the rapper had violated the conditions of his pre-trial release for an oxycodone trafficking charge from July. I think I saw that video on YouTube as well. Black um, had pleaded not guilty for a trafficking charge. His attorney was not immediately available to comment on Sunday. In January 2020, then President Donald Trump commuted a three-year federal prison sentence the rapper had for falsifying documents used to buy weapons. Black had served about half his sentence. Black is nominated for the I Heart Radio Music Awards Hip Hop Artist of the Year and has sold more than 30 million singles. With massive hits such as Super Gremlin, which reached number three on the Billboard Hot 100. So, Yak filled the fentanyl test once more, y'all. Come on, come on. For those that don't know Yak, the Super Gremlin Kroner. So, I saw, I just saw, um, shout out to Big Seti, he actually said some real shit, you know, like he gave a big, a big bro, you know, advice to Yak, and I think I really love the, in uh, the interview on our uh, podcast, I don't know, podcast or whatever, um, it is, and uh, so let me share with y'all, you know, let's hear what Big Homie has to say. Y'all pray for little buddy, man, Cody about to sit for a minute until he get that bill, they gonna redo it. Yeah. <laughs> Up and again, probably gonna hit him for another seventy five thousand. The biggest problem with this is kills off that fentanyl. Yeah. We know, and this just ain't propaganda. Everybody <coughs> knows somebody who's been affected by fentanyl. Fine. But I will be honest with you, it's in heavy usage anyways. Put a little tiny little bit of that, it's gonna kick <coughs> up the high. I don't Thanks. know for personal respect. I don't know. One thing about this fentanyl thing, when once nigga get up, get on on that shit, is is I mean it's difficult to get off it. I mean, I've seen a lot of people get off some certain substances easily, but I've not actually come across someone that has gone off that thing. You know, I, I mean, as much as I know, because I mean, as I'm, I'm, I'm talking about rappers that I know, not people I know personally, because yeah, in, in Europe, I don't, where I live, we don't get to see that. So I'm talking based on what I, I see on the internet. But I ain't never smoked crack, but I can tell you exactly from what the crack is, tell me. Yeah. It's pretty up there. Now, let's <clears throat> do it one more way. Kodak is massively irresponsible as well. When you're out on bail, yeah. you're out on parole, when you're out on probation, you're only free under restrictions. Thanks. Nothing else. That's one of the worst things about you guys. <clears throat> Y'all fail to realize it's all a setup. Yeah, the, the thing is, when immediately they, 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 they free you, first of all, they will, send, they, they will still put cameras on you, they'll still put, you know, they'll still have eyes on you, they'll still have people watching you to bring you back into it. Y'all don't get it, you know, <laughs> because, I mean, I always find it funny because, uh, uh, like, for example, you'll be in a state where drugs are illegal, right? And you were in prison, you go off, you get out of prison, then you travel maybe to another city and you're on life smoking, maybe a blonde, you're taking some things, some doing some crazy stuff and you go back to your state, like, do you think the people in your the, the the cops in your state don't think I mean they don't think that you're doing the same thing in your state? I mean like once and once you're an addict, you're an addict, like you always find a way to get get what you need. You know what I'm saying? So it's always funny where I where I see y'all trying to do like you you you're hiding from the cops, like you're on the internet smoking and you're hiding your location. That is you, you are showing yourself, they need you not where you are, they need you. So at the end of the day, when you smoke it and you get back to your city, they call you, family do a drug test on you, you are guilty, they don't care where you had the drug, the drug is in you. So jail is designed to once you get in there <clears> to keep you this chance to come back a second time yeah. unless you fix yourself in okay you have a high percentage chance to come back a second time right. unless you fix yourself in order to fix yourself you got to change your mindset he obviously ain't doing that what i'm saying so when you go out if they don't if you don't change your mindset of course they'll bring you they'll bring you back in because they have their eyes on you they know what you want to be doing i mean they know what you 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 i mean you know what i'm saying they have, they have their eyes on you they know all the activities you likely want to do 
So that's what I'm saying. Do I feel bad for little buddy? Just a little bit. Now remember what his lawyer said. His lawyer said that them oxy pills came from prescription. But the case in point would be if that's it, then why has nothing been dropped yet? Yeah. It yeah. ain't nothing to Because if I you know if we if we remember very well when um in this video, I think in this video, when he was caught, uh, uh, uh his lawyer said um the the, the, the oxycodone that was allegedly found on him where where were prescribed from the from, from from the hospital which i i saw like a real i saw i mean i felt like the, the case was going to be dropped immediately after he said his lawyer was uh, uh um i mean after he said his doctor prescribed him the, the, the oxycodone but now the case is still that the, the the court still has the case in hand why not just show it away if you think the case is over if you think the the proof you gave is is good enough then you would have thrown the case it's still running in something is going on so you either just keep quiet first and see how it's going on rather than involving making yourself public and stuff like that so yeah you know you gotta they watch out bro just order to say hey bro we prescribed this so there's that <laughs> but either way that go how y'all feel about this do y'all mm -hmm. think little buddy need intervention but constant behavior keep you on that constant i mean for example like what young boy did after young boy came out of prison you know i didn't see young boy act funny on the internet i mean young boy was so he did uh, the most you would see him on the internet do was smoke cigarette. You didn't see him doing all of the everything, everything. Now I think he's free now. He can do what he wants. At, at least the eyes are off him. So yeah, I just got a copy game, y'all. Yeah. I got a copy game. So I think I'm gonna leave it like that. And I hope y'all share, like, comment, and share what y'all think about the video. And I'll see you next time.